So picture this, you're traveling and you want to access your home network to get a file off maybe your server or make some sort of change to a setting on a computer. Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to do just that with a program called Tailscale. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc. As I said in the intro, we're gonna install Tailscale. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna put it in a Docker container. First, let's chat about what Tailscale is. Tailscale is a pretty great like package of software or a service that is basically your own personal VPN without having to set up a VPN and open a bunch of ports and stuff on your router. So it's pretty secure, it's awesome, it's all encrypted. And the best thing about it is it's free and we are gonna self-host it as part of our self-hosted simplified series. The reason I wanted to do this is I like to access my network remotely. So if I'm on a vacation or something, or maybe I'm at a convention like TwitchCon or something like that, and there's something on my network, maybe my NAS that I wanna get a file off of it, I can just open up Tailscale on my phone, hit connect, and I'm automatically VPNed into my home network and I can access whatever I want safe and secure. Now let's head over to the Tailscale website and take a look. Here we are at tailscale.com and real quick before we get into it, I want us to look at the pricing. So if we click pricing at the top and we scroll over, you can see there is a free version for personal use, free forever. The only limitations are that you're limited to three users and a hundred devices. 100 devices is a lot. And when it comes to three users, that's probably just fine because it's gonna probably just be you and maybe a family member. And you get basically all of the tail scale features are included with it. If you need to add additional users, it's 50 cents a month. Pretty cheap for a really great VPN service. Now what we need to do is create an account with tail scale. So at the top, you'll go log in. And right here, you have a couple options. You can sign in with your email if you already have an account. You can sign in with like a single sign in like Google or whatever, or for the first time you can click uh, the learn more at tailscale.com. For this example, we're just gonna do a sign in with Google. So go ahead and click that or sign in and create an account, however you're gonna do it. Once you're logged in, you're gonna be sent to the admin console. We'll go ahead and leave this here for now. Let's go ahead and figure out how we're gonna install this with Docker. Tailscale has a really great guide on their knowledge base on how to install Tailscale in Docker. I'll put all the commands and everything in the description below and also a link to this page if you want. You're gonna need to have a system spun up that has Linux on it, like Ubuntu or something like that. I'm not gonna go through and show you how to do that. I have a different video that we've done that. You also need to install Docker and I like to install Portainer as well. Again, I have a video that shows you how to do all of that. If you need it and can't find it, just let me know in the comments and I can link it to you, it's no problem. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and scroll down to where it says right here, the YAML file, and we want all of this stuff in the box. So go ahead and copy that and then go ahead and paste it into like a notepad file and we'll go ahead and run through and kind of see what it's gonna do and tweak a couple of the settings. So here we have that information. This is gonna be in a Docker Compose file. And the first thing up top is what the image is called. And it's just gonna pull the latest tail scale image. The container name, it's gonna be called TS auth key test. I don't want mine called that. Um, I want it to be called tail scale. So I'm gonna call it tail scale. Your host name, this is whatever the machine you're putting it on. So in my case, my machine is gonna be called Fury. And we have to do an authorization key right here. I'll show you in a second of where we do that. It's also going to install Nginx proxy and it's just gonna be a little kind of web page, you know, thing for authentication. You don't have to worry much about that. What you do need to do is you need to make sure right here where it says service tail scale off key one, you need to make sure that matches this up top tail scale off key one, the network node. Um, if those don't match, it's not going to work correctly. So just take a look at that. And the next thing we need to do, as I said, we need to do this TS auth key. This is a random one that is just off the website. And what this is going to do, it's going to create the authentication key for this machine that we're installing tail scale on. 
to the Tailscale network. Now we'll head back over to the Tailscale website and I'll show you where you get this off key. Back here on the Tailscale website, we're gonna go over to the top where it says settings. And then on the left side under personal settings, we'll click on keys and we need to make an off key right here. So click generate off key. You can call this whatever you want. I'm installing this on Fury, so I'm gonna put just the name of the server I'm putting it on. We're gonna go ahead and tick reusable. This is gonna make the key usable by multiple devices, which is we want. And the rest of it, I'm just gonna leave how it is. We'll click generate, it's gonna generate our key. And here is our key. We'll go ahead and copy that, head back over to that Docker Compose file, and we'll paste it in there. So here we are back at the Docker Compose file. We're going to copy all of this. And then we're going to paste in our key and you can see there we're good to go. Next, you need to SSH into the server that you're going to install this on. So go ahead and fire up your favorite terminal server software, SSH in, and we'll show you the next steps. I'm logged in to my server I call Fury. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an LS just to list. And I like to put my stuff in a folder named applications. So I'll go CD applications. And I have created a folder named Tailscale for this. So I'll go CD Tailscale, nothing in there. We'll clear the screen out again. Now we'll make our Docker Compose files. So I'm, you can use BI, I'm gonna go nano, docker compose.yaml. And now we're gonna paste all that stuff that we had in the notepad file, we're gonna paste it in here. Then we'll go ahead and save it. The next thing we do is we need to run this Docker compose file so it installs everything. So we'll go docker compose up dash D. Going to pull the images and start installing everything. And you can see we now have two containers have been downloaded and are running. One called Tailscale and one called Tailscale Nginx off key test one. Forgot to rename that one but that's okay. Next, I wanna head over to the server that we installed this on and see if everything is running in Portainer. So we're on my main site for Portainer. We installed this on Fury, so I'm gonna go into Fury, then I'll go containers, and here we go. We can see Tailscale right there is up and running, and the Tailscale Nginx off key test one is also running. So our two containers are live and running. This install of Nginx is kind of just like a little web kind of site. So just type in the address of the server and we'll see if it's working. And if so, you'll see it says, congrats, you have successfully installed and started Nginx Proxy Manager. Now that this is running, you basically have your own personal web server running. So good, we have both Tailscale installed and running and we have the Nginx Proxy Manager up and running as well. Now, the cool stuff is we'll head back over into our Tailscale dashboard and hopefully we'll see this machine that we just installed on our list. We'll click on machines and there you go. We see Fury right there listed and it is connected. It's as simple as that. For this video, I just wanted to show you how to install Tailscale into Docker container. We're not going to go through setting up different clients. I have another video coming out that I'll show you how to do all of that and actually connect into your network. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. It's a really easy, simple setup and it's an excellent product that you can self host in a Docker container at home. And before we go, I want to let you know, we're continuing to build our tech community up on the discord server. So head over to discord.gg slash havoc. And we have a couple sections in there about home labs and home servers, etc. Hope to see you there and until next time, stay safe, have fun and keep doing good.